Have you ever wondered what it's like to go ahead and instantly spawn a giant structure with only one item? That's what we're going to be doing today. With only some blueprints, we're going to be going ahead and placing some items and they'll become giant structures. But for that, I've gone ahead and gone into a world that I can't destroy. A plain world. Nothing nearby should hopefully get destroyed. Well, these are the blueprints. Today, I'm going to be going ahead and placing these items and pretty much finding out what they spawn. We've got everything from mine shafts to chicken coops or even some greenhouses or some bunkers, which I'm really looking forward to do. So, let's get started. I'm going to take out quite a few random ones and hopefully as we go on spawning them, we can figure out which one's our favourite and which ones we just don't like whatsoever. So I'm going to start with the bunkers. Let's go ahead and go right in the middle over here and let's get building. Three, two, one, let's do this. Now we can go ahead and build this wherever we want. Perfect, cool. Yep, this is definitely a bunker. So all we've got to do is open this door and it has everything we could ever need. Do you know what? I love this so much. We can shoot our arrows for all of these trapdoors and pretty much go upstairs and do the same. So, we can pretty much defend ourselves on every single level. Do you know what? This is exactly what I needed. I should have built this inside my base ages ago. Or even, we can go ahead and pretty much place whatever items we want and get going. Well, let's do this. Let's go up to the final level and find out what it is. Cool! This is awesome! See guys, I told you. I told you we we're not near anything whatsoever. But, I want to go ahead and find out what the other blueprints are. So guys, let's do this. I'm going to leave the bunker ones right there. And perfect. And let's go right downstairs and pretty much get going. It's going to be perfect today. So, let's go and do the chicken coop. Here we go. And perfect. Cool! <laughs> and there's already chickens inside. Well, there's one chicken, so hopefully this chicken will go ahead and lay so many eggs for us. And if we don't want to waste any more time, we can just pretty much go and place quite a few of these. There we go, and perfect. Gosh, that poor chicken <laughs> is going to be in there for the rest of his life. And let's go and spawn the last one. I want to go ahead and right at the end of the video, find out how many eggs they've laid. Because I want to find out if it's going to be convenient or not. So, let's go and do the town hall, which I'm really looking forward to finding out what it looks like. So guys, here we go. Three, two, one, and perfect. So there's only one option, and it seems to be pretty big. Gosh, this is actually huge. We have a little farm area right around the back, which we could easily go ahead and use at any moment. But if we go inside, cool. So we can go in here, get all the villagers and round them all up and pretty much get them to talk about what they need to fix inside the village. And what's around the back? Oh, it's a little study area. Do you know what? This has been so well thought out. I could easily go and use this every single day. And there's another room for bigger meetings. And that's pretty much it. Then we've got the little farming area right around the back that I think this door will take us to. Yep, that is awesome. I kind of like this so much. I could see myself using it every single day. But we've got to go and play so many more items. So let's go and do the grassy plain, which I'm guessing is just going to look like some grass. Okay, let's find out. Yep, just some grass. I knew it. <laughs> so just say we don't like the town hall, which I'm not so sure we want to keep. We could just go and do that. Oh, I've kind of just broken the bottom layer. Well, that's all right. <laughs> let's go and build it again. There we go. But I do also want to find out what the ski lodge looks like. So guys, let's do it right around here where hopefully nothing will get destroyed. There we go. And perfect. Oh, cool. That is awesome. So wait, we go inside and it seems to have a little area where we can warm up, dry our skis. And let me think. We've got ice and snow around the whole house. But I do see some upstairs. But I don't really see the use for this right now, but it's really awesome. Let's go upstairs and find out what this looks like. This is pretty much just a structure that you can go ahead, hang out with all your friends before you go skiing, and enjoy the rest of your time. Well, let's do this. Let's go right to the top floor and find out what it looks like. Ah, oh, it's empty. I thought it was going to be so much better than that. Well, guys, let's go and spawn the nether gate, which looks really scary. I'm a little bit nervous that possibly this one could be really dangerous because look, the banner looks so scary. Okay, let's go outside and see what it looks like. I'm going to spawn it right here. Cool. Wait, that is awesome. 
So we can pretty much go ahead and spawn this, and it spawns some sort of dragon head that we must go inside. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to do this. I have a feeling all we got to do is pretty much right-click with a flint and steel, and this will be the best portal ever. I kind of love this so much. Let's go see what it looks like from the side. So we go around here, and perfect, and there we go. That would be the coolest portal ever. Do you know what? Let me get a flint and steel. Okay, I got one. Let's go and do this. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what it looks like once the portal has been activated. Here we go. Cool. That is so awesome. Okay, let's go right back to our position and find out what it looks like. Gosh, that is so cool. Well, we can't spend all of our days looking at that one, but let's go ahead and spawn the next one, which is the aqua base, which I'm guessing would perfectly be spawned inside water. There we go. And perfect. And my only question is, how do we get inside? <laughs> Let's go and find out. I kind of thought it was going to add loads of furniture, but it seems like it's just gone ahead and added some sort of base to keep all the water out, which I'm not really sure what I could use right now. But let's go and spawn the next one, which is just some simple warehouses. Let's do this right around there. Now, we can choose the glass color. I'm going to go and choose blue. And let's find out what it looks like. Cool. So we can go inside and it's got every single crafting table we could ever need. Furnaces and chests. And upstairs? Ah, nothing. I guess we can actually add our own things. Well, guys, I am looking forward to finding out what the watchtower looks like. So let's go and do this right around here as well. Perfect. Now, I'm going to do this, and let's see. Nice. Do you know what, guys? I think this would be awesome if we had loads of watchtowers everywhere. There'd pretty much be a little base for me, Mark, and everyone. Well, guys, let's do this. I'm kind of looking forward to finding out what it does. But we do have so many more to do, so let's go and do this. Down we go, and perfect. And let's go back to our chest and get out the next few spawners. Ah, here we are. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to get out a whole nother row, and awesome, and let's just pretty much find out what every single one of these do. This one is the Enzo Gateway, so I'm going to do this right here. Let's see what it does. Cool. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous to find out what's inside, and how do we get in there? It seems to be some sort of giant dragon egg, but I'm not really sure if there's some sort of entrance, or if we just go ahead and break our way through. Shh. Guys, I made my way in, but I'm not really sure if we're supposed to be in here. This is the gateway to the end, but it's kind of nerve-wracking to find out exactly what is actually going on. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much get out of here. This is so scary. <sighs> I'm actually so glad we got out of there. So let's go and build the next one, which is the windmill. Cool. Ah, it doesn't work. I thought for a second it could be a live structure. Well, this seems to be exactly what I expected. It's pretty simple, but it's definitely doing the great job. Well, guys, I think I'm ready to go ahead and do the next few, which could be really dangerous or really fun. Well, let's go and do the machinery tower, which I'm a little bit curious to find out what it's doing. Let's do this right here, and let's see what it does. Okay, I think the inside... Is it any good? Oh, wait, can we do this? So it seems to take us upstairs, but I'm not really sure exactly what it would do upstairs. It goes all the way around. Oh, is that it? Do you know what? I thought it was going to be so much better than that. Well, I'm ready to get out of here. Let's do this. Let's go and build the advanced warehouse, which I'm going to do right here. Let's build it. And perfect. Nice. Now, I did notice it took away a lot of the ground. So I'm guessing there's some sort of downstairs area. Yep, I thought so. So down here, we got every single item we could ever need. And I'm assuming upstairs should now be fully stocked up. Oh, oh, it is. Perfect. This is exactly what you could ever need. But I'm not going to be able to use it today. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build the greenhouse. I'm going to do this beauty right around this side. Watch out, sheep and cows. Everything's going to be pretty mad right now. And perfect. Yep, that is exactly what I expected. This will pretty much be the perfect combination to go in ahead, planting all our items, and keeping it safe. I could easily get used to that. But I'm really curious to find out what the monster masher is. I'm guessing it will go ahead and be some sort of mob farm. Okay, let's just build it and see what happens. Inside we go, and it says lamp on equals mobs, lamp off equals no mobs. Oh, there we go. Is mobs coming or not? I think everything will go ahead. Oh, wait. Do they go and consume each other or not? Wait, no, 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 no. That's not supposed to happen. I know that's definitely not supposed to happen. What do we do? Do we go and kill them or something? Hmm, I'm very curious. What happens if we do this? 
Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna go down here and find out what it does. No! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get out of here. It seems pretty dangerous, but it does seem to be pretty tall. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on or if they're supposed to die in there, but we could easily get used to it. Let's go spawn the fish pond. I'm assuming we should be able to consume some items and fish them? I don't know. Let's go and find out. Do you know what, guys? You could easily make a really nice village if you easily coordinated everything. Because looking from afar, this seems to be so huge. I can't believe that from the beginning of the video, we spawned so many structures. Well, I do want to spawn the welcome center. Is this some sort of thing when you enter the game, it should welcome you? But let's go and do this. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Let's go find out exactly what it does. I'm assuming it's almost finished. Oh, there we go. I think it's done. Inside we go. And cool. Do you know what? Cake. I love cake. And that's exactly what I needed. I was losing a lot of my health very quickly. So, it seems like this is just a center where if you need any sort of help, it should have everything you need in here. We've got some chairs. We've got some beds right around there. Everything you could ever need. But I am looking also forward to doing... The moderate house, which I'm a little bit curious to finding out what it does. So let's do this. I'm going to spawn it right around this side. Here we go. Let's do this right here. And it seems like we can choose whatever house we want. We've got a spruce house. We've got an acacia house. An earthen house? Oh, a jungle house. Yep, this is what I'm going to do right there. Now, I'm assuming if we go right to the top, it should have everything we need upstairs. So this seems to be some sort of gateway to go into some sort of mining area down below, which I don't really need to see right now. But let's go right to the top, and I'm assuming no mobs should ever be able to get right up here. Let's go and find out. Nice! Yep, I love this very much. I could easily get used to this. Oh, and it even goes up even further. Cool! Do you know what? This is perfect. So let me check in all the items I have used already. And there we go. And we only have a few more to do, guys. But let's go right down to the bottom and place some more wonderful houses. Okay, the next house is going to be right around... I'm going to do it right around here. Let's do this. So we've done the jungle house. We've got a workshop house, a spruce house. Let's do the acacia house. Oh, cool. There's quite a few houses right in here. So we've got our farming area, we've got a wonderful area with all the acacia trees, and right inside, nice! This is awesome! It's kind of a shame, but this kind of looks better than my house. I kind of hate that. Okay, and downstairs we go, and I was wondering where everything was. We could easily get used to that water and everything. Okay, let's get out of here, and let's pretty much spawn the next one, which I'm going to do right in the middle. I'm really looking forward to finding out exactly what every single one of these houses looks like. Okay, let's do the earthen house. Nice! Cool! Okay, inside we go. And it seems like it's some sort of bunker house. Nice! Okay, round here we go. And there's our bedding area. And these are the mines we can start ahead and mine all the way to the bottom. And pretty much find a nice useful home down below as well. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's just go and quickly spawn the last few. Because this is going to last forever if not. I'm assuming there's so many more things we can go ahead and find out, but I just want to see exactly what every single one of these looks like. There we go. And whilst that's building, I am going to build the next one right here. And let's see. I think it's only the spruce houses that we've got left. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's go and find out what this one looks like from the inside. And perfect. Nice. Yep, this is awesome. It's pretty much got rooms for everyone. Okay, I'm going to get out of here and I am going to go ahead and just quickly spawn the barn and also the mineshaft entrance. I'm going to do the mineshaft entrance right next to that spruce house. Okay, let's do this right there. And perfect. And I'm guessing this is just a very simple house with a mineshaft going all the way down to the bottom, which I think is perfect. What else could you need? Some of these houses are just so over the top, but they are so cool. But I do think you could easily get it carried away and have so many more crazy things. And this is a wonderful barn. We can go and place all our wonderful mobs and pretty much drag everyone in and hopefully have a wonderful farm where you can keep everything very organized and very safe. Well, guys, today's been a perfect day going ahead and spawning so many structures. I feel like I've gotten so carried away and I might even save this map. It's got everything I could ever need. Well guys, I will see you soon another crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below the button is red, and don't forget to press the notifications bell. So guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.